So on Saturday, a video emerged on social media where the immediate deputy Senate president, former, the immediate former deputy, um, 70 Senate President E.K. Ikweri Madu, was spotted being beaten out of an event in <laughs> Nuremberg, Germany, by Nigerian residents in the country. In the video, most of the attackers were heard saying unimaginable, unimaginable and unprintable words. Watch this clip. Are we going to... Throw the bag in front, chairman. Throw the bag. Throw the bag. Throw the bag. Throw the bag. Uh, the Nigerian Diaspora Commission actually has said something about this, said that it was shameful and it was pathetic. Um, quite a number of people have actually spoken about this. For whatever reason, because they had their reasons for the attack, I think it's unjustifiable. You can't justify attacking an indiv individual who comes to attend an event. I think we should get to a point where even if we have grievances against our leaders, we should channel it to the appropriate authorities. Mm. What did they hope to achieve with that attack? What did they hope to get out of that attack? Did they think that that attack would change what it is that they are fighting for? Because the truth is, we are just showing the world how uncivilized we are. We don't, people don't do things like that. When you push somebody to the wall, they'll fight back. That's the truth. Who was pushed to the wall here? The citizens, the members of IPOB, allegedly, they're the ones that, they, that have been said to have carried out this attack, and they've listed their grievances consistently over a long time, that their people have been marginalized, mm -hmm. and they've tried to talk to their leaders, which is what I've always said on this platform, that don't come to federal government. You have representative in the Senate. You have representative on your, in your state level. Hold them accountable for the lack of development you dis you've not seen in your area. Deal with them. And I'm, they've said they've tried those means. We have our politicians acquire so much wealth on our backs, the back of the suffering Nigerian, the back of people that cannot get to hospitals, back of people that are hungry and dying by attacks every day, day in, day out. So you acquire this wealth and you rub it in our faces. We see you living large. We see you earning all this bemo. And we can't hold you accountable in any way. When we talk to you, you don't listen. So when, people, when people have been pushed to the wall, they fight back, the animal in them shows up. I don't agree with the beating, but I understand why it happened. And some part of me is happy that it happened ah. because I feel they need to experience the pain of the people. And when they experience it, they will understand. You, you see, you can't, you can't talk acquire money. Talk talk you can't talk acquire talk money talk and just be rubbing it in our faces. Calm down. Calm down. Uh -uh. We're entitled to our views. Yeah. And this, I'll allow you to have your views. painful. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't think it's right for us to project violence. I know. I've been thinking of how best to express my thoughts on this because I don't want to go ethnic, I don't want to go tribal. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be as objective as possible. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know if this can happen in the Southwest. It won't even happen in Nigeria, I'm right. Where if somebody can actually beat up a leader. Because Ekwere Mado is arguably maybe the highest ranking political yeah. officer in yeah. Nigeria today. Yeah. 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 by politics. No. No. Be good, no, no, be no, no, kind. No, no, no. No, that's he's, the so he's arguably, arguably the highest ranking. How would you, as a, a child, a person, beat up your beat father. Up someone it won't like happen that. in Nigeria, Murayo, because it the people did. of Nigeria are so no, handcuffed no. with societal the, and they are dependent on these people that no, they will not speak up. The reason it, it will happen, happen here in Nigeria is that you command the security. Yes. You know how many detailed policemen will work with him if he was in mm. Nigeria? Yes. It will happen anywhere. People are agitated. That's the problem. I hope this is a call to all our leaders who do lip service and, you know, play tribal card when it's necessary. I would take you down memory lane when, um, what's the IPOP um, leader, his name? When he was picked, uh, when mm. he was picked up in Nigeria here, people stood up with him. Ekwere Madu was with him. Inaya Abaribe signed his bond for his bill mm. before he left this country. Mm. And he has issued a statement warning Southeast leaders from visiting any country outside Nigeria, saying that this kind of thing will happen to them. You cannot be what Yoruba Koshe Kusheye mm. attitude. You have to stand with Nigeria if you are with Nigeria mm. and stand with IPOP where you are with IPOP. Condemn what is bad directly mm. okay. so that they know your stand. <clears throat> this person has always been their leader. There's a person they look up to. And every time when it is important, is Nigeria. When it is not important, it is IPOP. You have not been clearly clearly quoted to be against what is wrong. Has, Nima. Hold on. Has. Which Hold on. Who's, who's, who's stood bond, who stood shorty for him, 
condemned at some point that this is extreme. Mm. Okay, if, if, let me uh, pause you for a second. South, in, South, uh, South East leaders within Southwest, within other parts of the country, have been saying we are one country. Mm. But the people outside the country have a belief, a strong belief in the in the agitations of Biafra. Mm. Well, I watched the video, like so many uh, Nigerians. Um, it came into my WhatsApp, and I watched it, and I was actually very sad. Um, I thought it was a, a very uh, humiliating spectacle um, for him personally. I thought it was a, a sad moment for our country. Um, first of all, I want to say that I do not endorse violence mm. mm -hmm. in any event. I think we can disagree without being violent. violent yeah. However, I also want to say that the real import of this incident, we should also look at it. And that is, you know, the people are really in despair about the lack of progress. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of anger mm -hmm. against the career political class in mm -hmm. our country. Mm -hmm. um, and these people finding an opportunity to vent, uh, vented themselves in a way that should have been much better controlled. Sir, so, right. do you think that if IPOB gets their wish, which is to have their own country, do you think they would do better than what Nigeria is doing today? Because the truth is, it's easy for you to say from when you're not in the environment. I'm going to the East next week, and I know that they do not even develop their own place. So do you think that if they get that uh, uh, um, opportunity, to get that secession, do you think they will do better than Nigeria? Well, first of all, um, IPOP is a group that is, you know, seeking uh, something. They're seeking a, a separate state yes. uh, of, of Biafra. They are not the ones in control of the Southeast. No. The Southeast is controlled by elected government. Yes, sir. Mm. So, and of course, people have uh, their issues with those governments. Some of those governments are doing well. Some are not doing as well. Um, so, you know, I, I believe that we should reform Nigeria as a country. The power of I, I believe strongly that electoral reform is necessary before 2023 right. so that the people's vote can actually count.